picking up after your dog is a common neighborhood courtesy and the law, but local mm -hmm. scientists say many people aren't actually cleaning up at all and is now poisoning Tampa Bay. And it's a big problem. The dog ownership on the rise. ABC Action News reporter Sean Daly says it's time for people to uh, handle their business. After Hurricane Irma, environmental scientist Andy Likens, who monitors Tampa Bay, says something bad was in the water. High levels of nitrogen caused partially by dog poop. Uh, that's a really big problem that, that introduces nitrogen in the water and, and uh, fecal matter into the water. That's one of the big reasons why beaches get shut down. When you get a lot of rainfall at one time, it pushes everything at once down into the bay and everything drains into the bay. Dog ownership is up 29%, even more so among millennials. As a result, more and more communities are hiring fecal analysis companies and poop patrols to rein in wayward dog owners. There's also a self-policing movement underway, especially on social media, where certain dog owners are being called out. You'll see somebody else like, oh, hey, by the way, your dog just. Diane Bradley, who owns four pooches, lives in the Lando Lakes community where curbing dogs is the hot button issue. I think some people are just lazy. People just don't really care about their neighborhood or no pride about their neighborhood. Diane added that the best way to get people to pick up after their dogs in her neighborhood are the fines for $250. Woo! For other ways to gently remind dog owners to use these baggies right here, go to abcactionnews.com. Come on, Bear. Come on, Bear. Let's go.